I guess I'll run around really quick, look for exclamation points. Hmm. Uh, we got peaches. Let's see. No more accessories. Um, I can do the arena, and I can do the lottery shop. Let's do this first. Oh, you're here. What? What's wrong with me? All right, let's try it. Eh? Hey now. Oh, consolation prize. All right, two daikon. Why not? See. Okay, now let's go to the arena. I mean, I guess I could go private quarters again. That's good to know. Okay. Actually, do I have any sport? I do. Between. Well, there are only three, so I guess one of them against two of them. Cool. Who's fighting? Your time is at an end. I don't actively seek out a fight, but I will defend myself. I'll go with you. <gasps> Free willing to get my hands dirty. Come on, they're supporting each other. All right, you know what? I'm gonna bet a pearl. But now, who do I have in front? Actually, their defense and their resistance is the same. Your strength is 12 and your magic is 8. So I think the best thing here would be to have you go. So I'm betting on you. Go, Mozu. Go, Mozu. Go. Yeah, Samurai and Apothecary. Ooh. Alright. We won't lose. This could be bad, actually, looking at how much they can do. They do have a lower chance to hit, though. But then again, he only has a 52% chance to hit. Crap, we have to we have to kill him. Okay, good. I was gonna say we have to hit him here or we lose. And since I bet a pearl, you know. <laughs> Woo! We got pearl! Z that was terrifying, but exciting. Yay! We did it. Okay, good. Now to feed you, and then I guess run to my private quarters. I will give you this. You're welcome. I know how much you like it. Now let's hope that it's a good level, all in all. Eh, at least it wasn't just resistance, I guess. <gasps> I got another gold bar! I have no idea how those are useful. Maybe it's just for the like, castle castle things, but I don't have like the share thing on, you know what I mean? Street pass? Is that what it is? Is it still that? Right, let's get Kaze up again. Um. Would you mind if I hide out here for a while, m'lady? I'm being followed. Oh no! Not again! Ow, pop my neck. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do to aid you in your quest for peace. Okay, will do. Everything is sore. Alright. Can I get a support conversation between them now? Maybe? Maybe? No, darn it. So Sakura has one of Hana, let's go. Hana, do you have a moment? Sure, Sakura. Er, I mean, yes, Lady Sakura. It's okay, you don't have to be so formal with me. When we're alone, I actually like it when you speak to me like in the old days. Alright, if you say so. But it feels a little odd. You always speak to me in a pretty formal tone. That's just... I've never spoken any other way. <laughs> it's such a habit for me now. I don't think I'd be able to change my ways. You're right, I suppose. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? I'm always here if you need me. Oh, it wasn't anything important. I just wanted to chat with you. I've been thinking a lot about back when we first met and got to know each other. You mean before I became your retainer? Yes, you were so stubborn. You stuck into soldiers' sparring sessions and trained in the hills and fields. You took the training more seriously than the soldiers who were actually enlisted. Remember all the little scrapes and cuts you'd have afterward? Don't bring that up. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and I always had to heal those injuries for you. Some days I definitely needed your help. You always followed me and helped me out in so many ways while I was training. Thanks so much for that. It was no trouble at all. Oh, but there was the time you got lost in the mountains. I thought you were following me, but then when I looked back, you were gone. It took hours for me to backtrack and figure out where I lost you. My robes are caught on a tree branch, and you hadn't noticed when I fell behind. And I guess I didn't say anything? You've always been able to fixate on a goal and not lose your focus. I'm really sorry about that. I was so concerned with my training then. I didn't think of what I dragged you into. 
It really wasn't very considerate of me. Haha, <laughs> that's not true. Now that it's all said and done, it was good for me. I tend to be introverted. <laughs> so I was thankful that someone like you brought me to all those places. Really? Hearing that makes me feel a lot better. I hope that you always stay the same, Anna. Never change. Of course. Wait, are you saying I haven't changed from the old days? The inconsiderate days? That's just mean, Sakura. Oh, those two. Sakura and Hana attain support level C. And now we have Hayato, or Hayato and Hana. Cool. Hmm. Hi, Hayato. Oh, why are you making a weird face? What do you mean, a weird face? I'm doing some serious thinking here. Oh, sorry. It's just, your eyebrows were all screwed up when I first looked. What are you thinking about? Folks from the Wind Tribe sometimes send me boxes full of provisions. I'll admit, you know, as reading per per peripheral vision, you know. I first read that as explosives. <laughs> the provisions instead, you know. Folks from the Wind Tribe sometimes send me boxes full of explosives. I don't know why. Wow, that's really thoughtful of them. No, it's not. Some of them get the wrong idea about what stuff I can actually make use of. You mean like things you don't need? What are they sending you? Like this. Whoa! Look at the size of this box! Purses, dolls, accessories... Ooh, flowers on everything! These are really cute! Yes, they are. They'd be great for a small child. I'm not one, though! I think I'll just send it all back to them. What? No way! That would be such a waste! If you don't want it, I'll take the whole box! You want this stuff that badly? Why not? I like collecting things with flowers on them. Oh, I didn't know that. The purses all have that pattern. I think they're really cute. Well, if you want them that badly, go ahead and take everything. Really? Are you sure? That's very generous, Hayato. I'll take it all. No problem. Oh, I love this, and that, and that. What shall I put in all these purses? Wow, she looked really happy. All right. Hana and Hayato attained support level C. Cool. Okay, and poor Gerald can't support with anyone. Nobody likes Gerald. Alright. You know who does like Gerald? The goat. If anyone gets that, good on you. Buildings. Oh, uh, we have Hayato statue. I thought it was, like, I thought there was a Katrian statue because I'm, you know, Katrian, the avatar. But no, apparently everyone could just have their own statues. No, I'm bloody no. I'm just gonna have a line of statues here then. That's what that's gonna be. All right. I guess I'm gonna do that. I'll do it from here to see, but this should take us to chapter 10. Right? Oh, okay. So it's the same as if we like went to the gate where we still do get to choose. I've never done a scout thing, but I don't want to search, like spend gold to search for foes, you know? I don't know. Anyway, chapter 10, Ninja Village. With Izana safe and the Norian imposter defeated, Katrian heads toward the bottomless canyon in pursuit of Dioma and Takumi. Go. I mean, go. Woo! Chapter 10, Ninja Village. Let's do this. Man, my throat still feels kind of weird from the time I didn't quite choke but almost did. Mukushu! We're in Mokushu, everybody, in case you didn't know. <gasps> the road ahead seems heavily forested. Is that where we're going? Truly. Yes, it is dense, but there's a path that leads to the bottomless canyon. This whole area is the domain of Mokushu, another independent nation. If we encounter any of its citizens, they should be friendly, but... We would be wise to remember how Nor compromised Izumo before we arrived. Everything will be alright. I wouldn't worry about Nor strong-arming Mokushu, milady. The locals are well known for their proficiency in the martial arts. Many great ninja have sharpened their craft here. Himself included? No, it's likely that the Norse strategists would have tried to avoid this area. Even if it meant taking the long route. Ah, and we haven't heard about any battles in the area. Another good sign. I see. Very well. Let's proceed. Ah, well... <laughs> Boo! Or boo! Bet you didn't expect to see me here! The thing, like, he says boo, but then he, the actual voice line, he was, like, muttering. So I didn't think it was actually him jumping out. <gasps> Zola! You've been following us! You're massively outnumbered, so you can't possibly be in search of a fight. <laughs> Relax, Katrian. 
He probably just came back to offer me a chance to cut him. Wasn't that thoughtful of him. <laughs> no! Please! I'm defeated! I did not show up here to challenge all of you myself. I came here to surrender, and to seek amnesty. Huh? And why should we trust you? Um... Well, to be honest, you shouldn't. I tried to kill you. <laughs> but you saw what Lord Leo was about to do to me. I can no longer return to Nor. I am exiled. Without the backing of an army, I am of little danger to you. But maybe I could be of some assistance. Hmm? Hmm. Huh? Katrianne, surely you can't be considering his proposal. <laughs> can I cut him yet? <laughs> hey! Stay away from me, please! Listen. I think we should bring him with us. Excuse me? Wait. Really? <sighs> yes. Really, Katrianne? <sighs> yes. As he said, he's of little danger to us by himself. And he may prove to have some value. Lastly, it is not those she didn't wait to turn one's back to the helpless. Or on the helpless. Goodness gracious. You have a kind heart, Katrianne. Perhaps too kind. <laughs> oh, thank you, Princess Katrianne! I can't believe I let King Garen convince me that you deserve to die! What you've done here today shows your true character. That of a brave leader! <laughs> You're overreacting, Zola. And please remember, if any of us catch you doing anything suspicious, I will allow Hinoka to cut you down. I'll always be standing by. Knife at the ready, Katrianne. I guess Hinoka uses knives now. So don't even think about doing anything stupid. You got that? <laughs> yes, milady. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Does that mean we'll actually get to use him as a unit? Because if so, I probably would use him as a unit. But yeah. Ah, uh, this forest air is refreshing. And I have to say, I'm enjoying this path a fair bit more than the eternal stairway. Are we getting anywhere close to the bottomless canyon, Sakura? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Sigh. Huh? What's the matter? Are you getting tired? <sighs> I'm getting lightheaded, I can tell you that much. No, I was just thinking about Yoma and Takumi. Sometimes I forget that they're missing, and then when I remember, it's like a wound is freshly opened. Listen. I know the feeling, but please, try to stay positive. Worrying about it isn't going to do anything but drive you crazy. <gasps> You're right. I'll do my best. All right. That's the spirit. Whoa. Watch out! Oh! What is it? Ah! A shuriken? Get down, everyone! What's this? This belongs to, the Makushu, or to a Makushu ninja. Hey. I sense the presence of many. I believe we're surrounded, Katrian. What was that? Blast! So much for Nor staying away from Makushu. Unbelievable. I'm not sure we're dealing with Nor. Um. I think she's right. I know that Nor wants no fight with the kingdom of Makushu. Hey! How convenient. Come here, runt. <laughs> Please remove that blade from my throat! Hmm. Not until you tell us what's going on. Gah! Your guess is as good as mine! Perhaps Nora has made an alliance with Makushu. If that deformed one is correct, our kingdom has made an arrangement with Nor. Well, thanks for being so open about it. <gasps> Who are you? I am called Kotaro. I am Kotaro. Daimo. Daimyo. Daimyo of Makushu. Uh? And what is your quarrel with us? Daimyo, I have no idea. That's apparently a title. Kotaro. We merely seek passage through your territory. Truly. Yes, our understanding was that Makushu is an independent nation. Yet you are now beholden to Nor? What? Beholden? Pa! Makushu is beholden to no nation. Our interests simply happen to line up with those of Nor for the time being. Once Oshida was defeated, King Garen will grant us considerable new territory. We've long been waiting for the chance to expand. And this war is the perfect opportunity. No. So you're a war profiteer. How noble. <laughs> Gods. The famous daimyo of Mokushu turns out to be a scheming politician. I don't even have words for how disappointing that is. And even if you did, it wouldn't make much difference. Grow up, foolish Oshidans. Only the ambitious prosper in this world. <sighs> it was careless of us not to think of this possibility. <laughs> Indeed. Now that I have you all in one place, I can end the war today. I look forward to building a castle on the smoking ruins where Hoshida once stood. Why would you tear down a castle only to build another castle? That seems highly inefficient. Very expensive. Not good for your fortunes. Not a chance! Go on, keep talking! I'll savor making you eat those words. Alright, let's do it. Time to fight. Alright, no going through supports, because we already did that, so we get a save here. 
because we went through all the dialogue and everything. Select units. Um, I have no more units to select. I want Hinoka, so let's get rid of Sabaki for Hinoka. Yeah, sorry, Gerald. I want Jacob instead. Um, Azura would definitely be nice. Ozma, goodbye. Because, I mean, we have another healer in Jacob, so... Um, I think I'm good. I don't have Azuma, Sabaki, Gerald, or Silas, Hinata, Oboto, or Saizo. But everyone else, Katri, Sakura, Mozu, Hana, Hayato, Setsuna, Rinka, Oro, Chikaze, Jacob, Azura, Hinoka, I do want. We'll save again now that I've selected my team, so in case I die, I don't have to reselect everyone. And let's just start off with fighting. I know that you can rearrange your units and like swap their places on the battlefield. I guess I don't want to. So, trigger traps to hurt all units each turn. Each turn they're in this, each turn until they die if they're in it, each turn just... It must be, because it highlights an area. Hmm. Either way, let's look at some of these. So, Shuriken, 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 Naginata, and Yumi. Oh, I was expecting another Shuriken. Oh, crap, Yumi. Well, I'm going to have to have Hinoka. Be careful of that. Um, Naginata, Naginata, Shuriken, 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 Bloom Festival, Tiger Spirit, Chest. Oh. I want that then. You have a Kadachi. Is anyone gonna try to steal this? I mean, honestly, they might. Okay, I guess I can't go through Thickwood. Can I fly over Thickwood? I can't. So what I might want to do is have someone fly with Hinoka to take out some of these guys. Because I guess I, like, you know, I just might as well, right? And she could attack people right now. So that brings up question... Whom do I want to send to fight with her? You know? In the past we've had Setsuna, but she's right here. So I couldn't have that reach in time. Actually, with, with these two, we could kill this guy, really? But what could you do on your own, then? That's probably something I should look at. Well, you wouldn't take much damage, but you would be weakened by the Shuriken, and then you'd take more. And you wouldn't be able to kill anyone. What about you, actually? No. So probably best to just have her go with everyone else. Actually, she could trigger that, though, because she has the crown by her name. And that would hurt three people. Um... Let's do that. Ha! You've activated my trap card! Oh. Oh, now that's any unit that goes through it, huh? Including mine. I was thinking just about enemy units. Oops. Oh, well. I think I do want to do it like this, though. Yeah, I was going to have her go here, maybe, to attack this one, but... How much could you do on your own? Not enough. Oh, no! What did I just do? I just put her by the Yumi! Man, when you have those... Those little plans, but then last second you're like, Wait, I could just do this! And so you completely forget one aspect of the plan. Okay, so here's what I have to do then. I have to clear out this guy so that I can put my units here so this person cannot reach Hinoka. I think that's what I have to do. Okay. So that's doable. We can do that. Um, which button is X and Y? So we still couldn't finish you off. But I just need to focus on him. Rinka can attack. He would only do one. Uh, that's probably pretty good. And then Kaze would support with her afterward. So let's do that. I didn't mean to zoom out like that. You got this, Rinka! Maybe it would have been best actually to have Kaze. I guess they have traps of their own. Kaze attack first because then his defense would have been lower. But he should die either way. Yeah, pretty much guaranteed. Alright, we're gonna do that. Go. Don't worry. And yeah, we are gonna get hurt from the traps. But hopefully it's not that much. I don't actually know. Thank you. Thinking about it now, another way I could potentially save Hinoka, I was going to say have Azura, you know, let her go twice so she could get back out. That's obviously not going to happen. 
Here's what we're gonna do for Azura, because this is really the only beneficial way I can see having her sing be used. To make Hana summon from the back and go all the way to the front. And now she can actually move in and help attack people. I'm looking at everything. Best course of action might be the. Well, I guess because he can attack at a range too, so never mind. We do still need people to run up here. Can you not move? Or are you not gonna move? It's not showing any movement. Actually, Hinoka might be safe right there. You're not showing movement either. You're showing movement. Maybe these guys don't move. I'm not gonna focus on the ones that aren't moving then. There's no need, right? Let's fight. I mean, I'm gonna leave them here. They might well kill Hinoka, but at least we're learning now. If it doesn't show that they have movement, they won't move, you know? And she did not get hit after all, good. If we hit, we'll take him out. Whereas here, we would not. So I'll do this one instead. Oh, actually... I think I'll go here to get her what feels closer to the fight. I didn't realize she was on a trap though from that position. Oh well. Victory! Victory! There are bound to be traps. They can't be that bad. It's probably just like maybe three damage every turn, which is bad, but it's not the end of the world bad. I would like to get Kaze here relatively quickly, just in case. But yeah, so I'll get a Sun Pistol from you, we'll get a Kodachi from you. Bloom Festal. At this point, I'm seeing what I can get from killing them. Because I did check some just weapons earlier. Could have you move in and start to take you guys on. Because right now he wouldn't hit. Next turn, this guy would because he could switch to the Yumi. But then if he does that and switches to the Yumi, then I could actually have Rinka move in and attack and then Hayato finish him off. He'll do 10 though, which would put him at Hayato at 11. And so then if the... Actually no, if I move here, I'll still have support, I won't be in the trap. Oh, I can still be attacked by him. Life is hard. Let's see how much the Yumi guy has in terms of, like, his attack. So that's strength of 10, and a defense of 10. But I guess attack 23, is that what I'm having to consider? So, oh no, sorry, hold on. I probably shouldn't miss the Hayato thing, I won't do that. I don't think they're gonna move though, so I don't want to have her end in the trap. It just doesn't seem like there's much of a point. That's still in the trap too. Dang it. Alright, I'll just move people forward here how I can, I guess. And that's my turn, right? No, Moser. Two damage each turn, okay. So, so far it does seem like I'm right that those two are not going to move. So that's good to know. Man, this is going to be hard because my characters are just going to constantly have a lower defense. So that means, you know, everyone is going to be doing more damage. That's rough. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Oh, shame you missed that though. I mean, it's an 83. Alright, but she did get a level up. She is now level 11. Please be good. That was pretty no good. Strength, speed, luck, and health. Oh. Uh? Great, what now? <gasps> it's Takumi! Wait, is that who I think it is? Uh... Takumi, over here! Big brother! Brother! Are you alright? I'm so happy to see you again, brother! Ah! Gah! What's wrong with you? That arrow almost hit me! Oh no. 
Takumi, what are you doing? Kill. Huh? I should have been the chosen one. What? This is creepy. Please. Takumi, no. what happened to you? Oh I no. will not be stopped. I am ignored, alone, forgotten. But I am more powerful than they can imagine. Oh no. What are you saying? Snap out of it, Takumi. I will not stand in the shadows any longer. They will all see me for the first time. I will make them pay for what they've done. I will make them. I will make Die. them. Oh. Ah. He doesn't like us for some reason. Uh. Look at the color of his eyes. Could it be? There's only one way to find out. I'll have to sing to him. It's a good thing you're literally positioned right beside him. <laughs> Talk. No one notices me. No one cares. Die, die, die. Oh, he's Reaper. I get it. Okay. Wait. Talk to me. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. You. You are. Listen. It doesn't matter. I'm someone who can help. You're being controlled by a dark force. This is not who you are. You don't have to give in. You can survive this. Listen carefully. She did it, maybe. Talk to me. Can you hear me now? Ah, oh. Azura, is that you? Just in time. Yes, it's me. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? Uh, where am I? My apologies. Unfortunately, we're right in the middle of a battle. I don't really have time to explain. Are you in any condition to defend yourself? I... I think so. I feel okay. Hey. Very well. Just remember, you're strong and intelligent. There's a certain something about you. I believe in you, Takumi. What? Um, okay. <laughs> That's the Takumi I remember. Now, come on. There's n you'll need to focus in... You'll need to focus to make it through this battle. Alright, focus. Wait, Azura! Ugh, I'm still a bit woozy. So many questions. I guess I'll just have to stay alive to get them answered. That's right. I guess I'll just call it good. Alright. Hey, you can actually reach him. Man, he would kill him instantly. Like, really? What level are you? You're only level 11? Is an archer... Okay, what's Setsuna? Setsuna's also an archer! How are you that strong? Well, I guess, okay, so 11, 13. Oh, I guess you're using a fusion Yumi? Is that what it is? Takumi only. Wielder is not slowed by terrain effects. I mean, I guess I might as well. Sure, go. We can win Man, look at that bow. It's all glowy and everything. I mean, is that like the Yato, but for him? I don't know. Seems like it could be. That would have been nicer if this person had switched off, you know? Like, to the bow. But I gave them no reason to. Okay, what about Dragon? That actually would be enough. And if possible, I would like to just finish him off right here and now. So let's go! And he's down. It's over. Man, look at her in control. We haven't seen this dragon form since the level where we actually were forced to be dragon form. Uh, yeah, I think this would be good. It'd be nice if she could have support. But, hold on. Like, could I? I could, because, okay, so this will lower his defense. And he's supporting with Katrian, so that's cool. Here I am. And then, with the defense lowered, we'll have Rinka go in, do more damage, and possibly actually kill. Oh, especially with that, she should be able to kill him now, yeah. Do I probably I probably want to have her be healed first, though. Jacob, if you would. Yeah. I'm going to have him rush in, because then maybe one of these ninjas will attack. 
and he can handle it, you know? I feel like he can just take it. So there you go. I was told, too, that Butler actually is an advanced class, which I was a little upset about. But I was told that he was an exception and could actually get to level 40 instead of just level 20. So even though he's an advanced class, I guess since you get him at the beginning, or maybe just because he's Jacob, or maybe because he's a butler, I don't know, he can go to level 40 instead of level 20. So it should be okay that I keep using him. No hesitation. Cool. So now it's just the guy with the Yumi. And he shouldn't... Okay, no, he actually should be able to attack Kaze. And so that means Kaze should actually get... Um, support up with both of these afterward. Because they're adjacent to him. I think that's how it works. Um, I think this is fair to do. But just to see if there's anything else that I should look into first. Okay, no, I think I should do that. Let's heal you up first, though. And before I send her off into danger. And Sakura got another level. She's 11 now? 12? 11, yeah. Good level! Strength, eh, but, you know, still. So HP, strength, skill, luck, and resistance. Awesome. I would much rather the strength have gone to defense. Because she, she's pretty low on defense. And I'd rather her not be, believe it or not. Actually, this will put her here where she'll take two damage. But she'd just be better off. So, 8 twice, 100%. I mean, I guess it really is just two more and getting some support with Jacob, which honestly I do want. So, let's do that. Yes, yeah, she will take two damage from the trap, but I don't think it's the end of the world. You must go. Okay. Now. Actually, that would be enough. Cool. Then I'll do that. Let's go. Watch out. Yay, good work. Wow, nice. And now we can have Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Support with Mozu. Hey, what's up? I was gonna lose. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, I could do this. It'd kill him without wasting a turn. Or, I mean, not really wasting a turn, but like without Kaze risking getting hit, I guess is the thing. I should probably just do that, yeah. She doesn't like that one as much. Doesn't like going with Katrian as much as Setsuna or Jacob. Katrian would finish him, though. And this would not. Katrian's the only one who would finish him. Why does she not seem to like that as much? I mean, okay, maybe that's an intense anger face like, yeah, now we're talking. I don't know. It's hard to say. But let's just do that. We'll just finish him off here. I'll protect you. Thank you. And I just realized I still haven't switched off of Ox Spirit for her. But she has a high enough attack that oftentimes I don't feel I need to switch off. I'm gonna do this partly so that Kaze will attack because then their defense will be lowered when they attack us. And maybe that'll help us actually finish them. Yeah, no, we'll definitely be able to finish them off next turn. Because I'd be able to do that even without their defense being lowered. If I'm doing 10 next turn. Okay. Let's just hope that attacking them and then the next guys. Oh, and then the Shuriken guys too. It doesn't hurt too much. Never mind. They chose to attack Looks Rinka like instead. No Which I'm fine with. I don't mind this. Be steadfast. I didn't expect that to do that much damage. Dang. Main call. Or that to do that much damage. Didn't dodge it either. Are we good? Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Dang it. As we talked about, it's, it's, it's a Riz Grestar playthrough. Cue outro, go!